Hey, this is Randy with Carchaeology, and today's adventure is this one, the 1969 Dodge Charger RT440. We're going to dig all the crap out of it, check all the numbers on it, and see what it's all about. So here we go. All right, so this thing is jammed full of who knows what and a healthy helping of rat shrapnel. So hopefully we can get all the stuff out of there and not get sick in the process. Well, no rodents in here at the moment, but you can tell they've spent some major party time going on here and ate their way completely through the radiator hose. All right, we'll start out in the trunk and see what all we got in here. That's obviously a lot. And I can already see some holes down in there. So this one is not rust free. Oh man, is it thick in here. Got a new muffler though. So I got a couple buddies here to get good and sick off all this stuff. <laughs> so Mike and Garrett are knocking it out here and we'll, we'll get to the bottom of this pile. Them damn dukes. Mighty fine quality rodent detrius here. Yummy! So you got a coronet grill. Right. Oh, there's a couple of them. Oh, Holy two. <laughs> but I would put it in the 500 if it doesn't have one. This is a tail light cover. Oh, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. It's nice. All right. So we have wedding bouquets and ceramics. Maybe. Ceramic or Nope. Got to keep those used gaskets. Clock. What is it? All right, got a clock. Gotcha. Got a gas bezel. There's your uh, 69 500. Oh, killer. Okay. Perfect condition. Yeah, awesome. That's for a 70. What's he doing here? <laughs> closet Chevy guy. I guess. The only Chevy part we've seen so far and it's damn nice. It's no old stock. <laughs> Thought it was a taillight. Other end of the car. Oh shit. <laughs> Got your chrome exhaust tip. That's when you open that present where you're like, oh man. All right, socks again. <laughs> <laughs> so when you get older, you look forward to it. Socks in the mirror. All right. Mopar chrome ones. Do you ever do this, Randy? Oh yeah, what's the date on this newspaper? Can yeah, you see anything? Let's see what we got here. Of course, it's just the bottom of the paper. So that's good. Tuesday, November 1987. 87, all right. So this stuff has been packed in here since 87, I would guess. It can be kind of... All right. Cleaned up on, I think. There's some NOS thrush mufflers. Oh, look at that. Heck yeah. Um, Hell yeah, right. baby. Those are super cool. Get the elbow in there. Check this out. <laughs> 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 Got to represent. All right, more thrush mufflers. So those are some shorties. Look at that. $15.99. What a bargain. <laughs> Somebody's going to be like, hey, I'll give you $15.99. I was saying I'll give you $20. If you <laughs> right. You're such a giver, Mike. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Those are like damn cool looking. Yeah. Seriously, I wouldn't want to put them on a car. Uh -huh. Wow. All right, there comes another one. And another one. It's like cir circus clowns coming out of this thing. When will it end? Even more. 
So what's that wheel out of? I'm gonna I'd have to look at it, but I think it's 70 because that's a bigger center. Gotcha. Huh. If not 69. Cool. Yeah, 48 disposable enema kits. Bring them on, man. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a party. <laughs> now we got a party. All right. Is it enema kits or is it Mopar parts? And is there a difference? <laughs> right on. Actually, there's some cool stuff in there. We'll have to cleanse our bowels elsewhere. Pretty spot kit. Taking those US mag thunder caps. Yeah, I definitely think the uh, center caps and the mufflers from the uh, excitement here. Pretty cool. Here comes the thrush delivery man. We got the mother load of thrush mufflers here. Step right up, step right up. So these are for a six pack or a hemi. This one looks like it was used. Maybe just kept it. Right. Huh. That's the only one. Oh man. Got really that. good grain on it. Is the other half oh. in there somewhere? I was looking, I didn't see it. Hopefully. No. <laughs> yeah. Keep digging. One of the old brake shoes. Actually, the interior is not too bad, except for this big freaking hole that the rats dug in the top of it. <laughs> I opened it up and it literally started falling out. Gnarly. That right there is what came out so far and what's left in there. Yay. It's half. So if there's an owner's manual in there, it's in shreds. <laughs> Yikes. So is there an end to it? And it goes that way behind oh, the vents. That's vids. probably not good. <laughs> <laughs> and back behind where the paper and the cardboard has started to deteriorate and is back all the way to the firewall. Nice. All right, we got the trunk mostly cleared out. The trunk liner is here. I'm seeing some holes in the corner. Let's see how deep this rust is. It is looking crispy. Mopar flakes for breakfast. And I think if there wasn't a gas tank in this thing, we wouldn't have a trunk. Because that is like, you can probably grab what's left of that and just pull it right out. That's pretty standard charger rust, though. <laughs> I guess so. It, but it really is. As bad as it seems, that's totally normal for these. Still no fun. Anymore. But you can get all the metal to yeah. put that back together. Yeah, that's awesome. This panel up under here is typically really rotted out. Uh -huh. And you can see there's one little hole over there. Yeah, just but by for that the most part, trash there. Yeah, and that's probably, that trash probably held moisture in it. But all in all, it's really solid under here where they're normally rotted. Oh, well, that's good. And so that's a good sign. Like it's lashed all the way. Alright. Probably have to come this way because the window cranks out. Ooh. Nope. No build sheet. More gnarly. Right attack, though. Yeah, just like on the other one. Yeah. Those are pretty Does this one have bolts underneath it, or does it just clip in? Clips yeah, in. It should have a fold over. It's still fuzzy. There's yeah, there's green stuff in here. There's something alive in this thing. <laughs> Besides Garrett, I mean. <laughs> well, that manifold is. Uh, Looks aftermarket. Aftermarket. Yeah, it'll rock. But we do have the fender tag here. It's got a bunch of goodies on it. So radiator is the correct one. That's awesome. Intake, carb headers. So aftermarket intake headers. 
But you said the distributor looks right? It looks like a points distributor. So yeah. Without getting the number, it, it probably is. Cool. Right on. You can see that original red underneath here. Yeah, definitely the color combination is pretty killer. Red with a white top, white interior, and the white stripe. You'd see this thing coming. Looks like B314603 or 608. So they're good. <laughs> all right awesome so we got a matching numbers engine that's a very good start on this one. Oh, really so no match on the transmission it's like we're ending in 419 although it is a 69 727 trans so it's correct year but right numbers match but not numbers matching all right so we got matching numbers engine but the trans isn't right and it but it, you said it was a, it was a 69, 727. It is a 69, 727, just not numbers matching. Huh. So it's the right trans, but not Wrong the numbers. right trans. <laughs> Overall, the body is really pretty straight on the thing. It's just crispy, or it's had some metal work done to it. And there's these welds down here along the door sill. So obviously it's had some sort of work done there. And then some spotty, uh, patching going on here and certainly that trunk it needs to be done but uh, got a little bit of filler in this side here that's cracking out so something was done here be interesting to see what else is there it's interesting though around the back window and stuff it looks really solid all the corner trim pieces are there you got a little hole going on here which is probably how that truck filled up. Final top car, which I imagine that would look pretty awesome white with the red. Yeah, not too crazy. Right there. Really, so it's just <laughs> straight exhaust into cherry palms and that's it. Oh, I bet this beast is loud. And the grill looks like it's in really good shape incomplete it's not all totally racked and messed up with and then the hideaway headlight doors look like they're up in there yeah yeah it's actually pretty good yeah the floor actually looks amazing a little bit of like surface scale but nothing it's actually really solid oh that's awesome amazing Scaly, but solid. Yeah. No holes, no pinholes or anything. Yeah. No, you can Still actually see red, red paint even. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. That's pretty impressive. Considering how bad the trunk is and the outer body, I would think it'd be pretty gnarly in there, but I think this was bad. probably just because of the vinyl top. Yeah. And then I would guess it just had some sort of damage on this side. For the repairs. Huh. Because even you're supposed to screw them shut and jump yeah. through the window, right? Yeah. Antenna already. Yeehaw. <laughs> you know it's bad when you gotta take a shovel to it. <sighs> Gnarly. There's a floor in there somewhere. Crazy. So that looks like there's a little filler going on here in the front corner. But uh, overall, it's, it's really not too bad. Massive thanks to Mike and Garrett for coming and helping clean out the RT440. 
uh, and crawl underneath it to figure out what uh, all the details are. So we've realized that this is a matching numbers engine in this car, which is a massive thing. Uh, it does look like the transmission has been changed because the numbers don't match up there, uh, but the rear end looks correct. We also found that it's really much more solid than we thought. The trunk definitely needs to be done. The floor, the trunk floor is horrid. Uh, it's had some rocker repair, but overall the floor inside the car is really quite nice. Uh, it's obviously been sitting for quite a while. It's gonna need a lot of love, but it's a fantastic base car to start with. And it is a 69 RT 440 Charger. It's got some neat options. It's red with a white interior, white top and white stripe cool combination. You can just picture what this thing would look like done. Thanks very much for watching. This car is up for sale. If you know anybody that's looking for a good 69 Charger project, please contact us either through the messages here on YouTube, or you can email us as well at bugginbox at earthlink.net or reach us through carkeology.com. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Lots more cars to dig up and drive.